I'd like to introduce Nellie Capra, and Nellie's uh, going to share her story and her little uh, byline is, I kiss goodbye to apologizing for who I am and the fog lifted. So she's going to share the genesis of women and money lifting the fog salon, a community that she co-created with Shelley. So Nellie, it's all yours. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Thank, Thank you for, for coming yeah. so early. And listen to um, the follow-up of my story. I'll give you a little brief um, summary of the first story that I shared here two, here two years ago. I've been participating in the well and uh, GW Land and um, and other organization for several several years. And so last two years ago, I was asked to, to tell my story here, and um, it was my story, like I say, chapter one. The, <laughs> uh, coming back, coming from Italy uh, and to live here, I um, I had um, all this all this life in Italy that I had left behind. It was a successful life. I had I had achieved financial independence early in in my in my in my life, and um, I had everything. But I followed love, and I came to. California to, <laughs> to fulfill the dream. I left behind all I had without too much thought of what I was leaving behind, though. You know, kind of unconsciously. Um, you know, all my, you know, independence and my financial, you know, my income and stuff. And so I had to adjust here. So when I told the story, when I told the story, I was, um, I became conscious just by the sheer fact of sharing with a committed audience that I was, that, that I was a public person all of a sudden. It, was, it wasn't just Nelly's story, it was our story. And so at the end of my uh, story, quite spontaneously, uh, I, uh, I declared I'm kissing goodbye to, my, uh, to apologizing for existing, for who I am. Because I thought that that was a theme in my previous story. So, by saying that, I had declared my future. And I, you know, I really had no idea that I was doing that. It came up like this. And um, so the reason I'm sharing chapter two and three, possibly, here, <laughs> <laughs> is because my intention here today, to talking, with, hey, <laughs> talking with you, is to, is to um, follow up on that declaration. I, I, I um, I want to show that showing up in life is like saying to life, I'm here, I'm here to stay, and I'm here to participate. And that's what I like you, I like us to leave this, this room with, with, unless you already are like that, or even if you're, there are all these levels of participation that we can increase, or we can, we can unveil. So, so I started, as a result of that declaration, I started listening to things in a different way, hearing things in a different way, seeing opportunities. A, a few months later, I was in a seminar, a landmark seminar, in, uh, in, called Effectiveness. Uh, it was about in, how to realize intention, articulate and realize intention in life. And I was uh, figuring out my project. I had chosen a project about financial clarity. You know that. <laughs> yeah, Jeff was part of that 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 moment and um, financial clarity, and I was sharing with my partner, with Janet, right there. <laughs> she was listening to me, and she said, "Wow, what a great project! How about you know, how about inspiring also others in achieving financial clarity? This could be could be pretty cool." And immediately I said, "Of course." Yes, and the salon, the, this organization that I that uh, founded, was born in that moment because I saw I saw the possibility of of um, having women having financial clarity, you know, being inspired by that. So I uh, started taking action. I looked at the well first of all to for the format because. I, I like the idea of storytelling and sharing and creating a community and other, also others, other communities and organizations that I participate in. So 
uh, I had a committed listeners, quite a few committed listeners, but um, but the person that stuck around the most was Shelley. <laughs> we start having incredible meetings weekly, uh, and we uh, that which we call evolutionary breakfasts, <laughs> delicious, and um, and the name of the salon came up: Women and Money, Lifting the Fog. She she. She came up with a with a fog lifting, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and so the March 2011 we had the first we had our first meeting. So we started gathering, and I started inviting. We started inviting people into a conversation around money that was to shift from the current to the most common mood, which is being scared, especially for women I'm talking here, uh, being scared about money, being bored, about, in my case, being bored, right, Jeff, bored? I'm not bored. <laughs> <laughs> being, um, like, uh, thinking it's dirty, um, or other things like that, into a conversation, to a conversation of fun and enthusiasm around money. And I didn't know where this came from. I, to be honest, I just... I just thought it was, uh, people liked it. Women came and we started gathering, talking about our stories, and pretty soon breakthroughs were starting to show up. Uh, people st uh, women started having conversations with their spouses that they hadn't dared have before. Secrets were aired out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, decisions were made. made. People that, um, that wanted to retire, that didn't dare, you know, all those things. So breakthroughs galore, and, and community was starting to form, you know, evolutionary breakfast, other people met, also for other reasons, not just money, you know. They, um, so, so there was a lot of energy, and, and this idea of this uh, fun and enthusiasm around money started happening. In fact, newcomers, <laughs> after a while, they were blown away. They would come to expect nuts and bolts. <laughs> or information, kind of dry information, Jeff. <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying about me, Melanie? <laughs> but not that, but it was like, a more like a, so the, it was like, we were suffusing, infusing actually, uh, lightness, openness, and fellowship, and fellowship into this fog, and the fog started lifting. Mm -hmm. By simply being there, and, and having the courage to share, things that were difficult. So um, we had breakdowns. Yeah. <laughs> People not getting along or unworkable situations, stuff like normal things, I think. But that gave us the opportunity to create something new, which was a set of guiding principles, which we called the four tenets. <laughs> and the four tenets uh, were, were supposed to are supposed to, um, are actually informing our way of being around in life and also as participants of the salon. And the four tenets are workability, is the first one, which means uh, competence around uh, conflict resolution and uh, problem solving. Um, work on that, on workability. <laughs> and then education. We, we educate ourselves around in, in money matters. Um, in in uh, new economy thoughts um, by participating in conferences, reading books, um, articles, and sharing on our Facebook page or website. We also invite experts to sh to talk about. Um, we do we call them mini workshops. Actually, Josie just did last month one <coughs> one of them, and um, so about the how money works, and, and as we, she's also our treasure. She's a, a pillar of the salon too. We um, actually, and last, uh, last March, we celebrated the first birthday of the salon with a nice, um, with a nice uh, celebration, nice event that Bertita helped um, with, this, uh, she, she helped with the ceremony of passage from the first, from toddler to teenager <laughs> <laughs> or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> <You're> welcome. <laughs> um, so, so having done our homework around our personal fog, kind of by, by showing up, we started seeing that there is another fog that that that, that is um, covering what the economy is really like. You know, we we want to do our homework and be financially um, savvy, but at the same time, there is, we are working in a paradigm that is uh, that has some. There is something to say about that. We are questioning the paradigm now. So, and also in the. All along, I had this question that I couldn't answer. You know, I, I really was wondering, why the economy? Why am I interested in the economy, actually? Because, I, you know, I'm a food person. I always like <laughs> juicy, um, flavorful things, <laughs> like food or family or um, relationship. But economy was something that I couldn't get over why I was interested in that. So one day, I was in conversation with Bonita, who's not here today. But we were talking about this paradigm, economic paradigm, she said, that sustains war and conflict. And I said, ah, oh, as opposed to sustaining life. You know, that's why I'm interested in economy, because I, I am interested in, in the economy that sustains life. Just like the food and all the other things I mentioned sustain life. So that was, and so the new vision of the salon was, was uh, kind of came up or expanded on the on on the first one. So this, the vision of the salon became an economy that sustains life. You know, we are uh, we are for an economy that sustains life, and our mission also came up. You know, uh, the mission is to is to um, shift from a paradigm, shift the economy from a paradigm of consumption and scarcity to a paradigm of uh, co-creation, generosity, compassion, and, and sufficiency. So the second question that I was wondering about it was to, how do we apply this? How do we make it the, 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 our you know, air that we breathe in the salon? Naturally, <laughs> we talked about this a lot. And so we, because we didn't want people to come and get a breakthrough or get just just get something, but to, we wanted to a space of co-creation. I mean, this is what was the, so we started inviting people, not, you know, n not into a consumption paradigm, but into a co-creation paradigm. So come and create with us a new economy, this is things life. We love that, all that it details. And it was all to be created, <laughs> what it means. Because for each of us, it meant something different. But something that we, as a group, we started seeing and we started, um, started emerging is that we, um, we had a voice. We started seeing that we had a voice, that we had a say and a, a, an influence with our purchases, how, what, how we allocate our money. Um, we, can, we can make a difference. And um, so we started having also um, people coming and talking about time banks and different ways to, to, um, to in our own life, to shift this paradigm. So that became the conversation. But the thing that, that the underlying theme of all this was that we were starting, we are starting to give up as a group the idea of separation. Starting to give up the idea of being afraid of asking for help, you know, like starting to become aware of our abundance that we have, uh, our sharing of resources that we have. So, um, giving up the idea of isolation, really. So, from that, and in fact, today, that, that made something else available. It made available the possibility of synergizing also with other groups and, and finding the common <laughs> the common uh, threads mm -hmm. that um, the common vision actually the, the common vision of sustaining life. So I'm thrilled today to be here at the at the well <laughs> uh, because the salon was born of, of the well. Mm -hmm. It was born here. It was conceived 
<laughs> was conceived here. And so I'm here to give back to the well. You know, thank, thank the well for having had that effect on me <laughs> and give back to it. So that's my purpose today, to give back to, um, to where I came, this came from. Um, so the, the idea of synergizing really thrills me. I had, um, we had, for instance, recently a, a we call it maxi workshop, <laughs> because it's longer. Bonita did one, and we, um, it became like, it, it was born out of the sharing at the salon, uh, Bonita, and she created this, and many other, um, many people from different organizations came. So there was networking, there was a lot of um, synergy. And actually, in the near future, Kay, who was uh, a speaker, at the last speaker at the well, she's going to offer one. So we are planning to do this on a regular basis, too. Um, so Kay is the, the founder of, remind me of the name, the company. Global Force for Healing. Called Global Force for Healing, yes. It's a nonprofit organization that she just gave birth to. <laughs> so, um, so my, um, let me see where I'm at. Just a second. <laughs> I said, what, how are we doing? Fine. Oh, yeah, one important thing I want to say is that, is that I am aware that each group under the umbrella of sustaining life has a different flavor. We all have a different um, take. Like, um, it's a lot, you know, it's like we all converging to this sustaining life um, purpose, but we, we sustain it in different ways. Like the salon is in the economy sector, and uh, the well is, is um, I would say, art, the, story, the art of storytelling is an art, so from the artistic sector. Um, GWLN is education. Um, uh, your, your organization is um, health, probably, right? Healing health, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, and then uh, our next speaker at the salon is Judy Kitt, and she is from FNBR, Foundation Mind and, Be Mind and Being Research, and she comes from science, so, or science and spirituality. So, um, I, I, I started to see this, this wheel of co-creation that is forming, and it's like, And it's like um, all these energies are converging towards the realization of this new paradigm, actually, in different ways. So, um, so in doing so, we express uh, we express our community. We express the community we are. Because we I'm, today, I'm not just speaking to you as Nelly. I'm speaking to you as the communities I am part of, and I participate in salon and also other communities. So we are community. We are, each one of us is a community here. So we have a world here. And, um, and we, we are designing together by expressing this and this participation. We are um, expressing a, a new world, a new worldview. Uh, we are realizing this vision that of a world that works for everyone and that is and that sustains life. So this is my story. And I like to did I forget anything? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think I didn't look at my notes, but I think I was pretty much. So I like you I like to ask you a couple of questions and after each question, we will break into groups like we normally do. And, and then I will um, to speak for a minute or two after the second question, and then I'll ask you a third one. And, and then we will come into groups and share. So the first one is, what thoughts and what thoughts, what, what emotions stop you from from showing up, you know, if any. 
and, and sharing your uniqueness. Like sometimes when we are, when we have something to say that is not homogeneous with the other, you know, with the current, there is something that we don't, we think we're going to fear or something, at least it's true for me. I like to, you to explore that because by being aware of that, we can, we can then go to the next step. Okay, so I'd like you to repeat it. Repeat yes, what, what <coughs> thoughts and what thoughts stop you from sharing your uniqueness and showing up? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, uh, what is the issue? Yeah, we usually, if you will notice that the chairs are grouped by color. So that where are the colors? I, I don't know where they are. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, you can count. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. Unless we well, have shifted, great. shifted the chairs around. Like there's gray, there's green. See? Oh, the color of the chair. chairs. Green oh. yeah. and high. Okay. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And you know, feel free to swap around a little bit. That gets us started.